Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. Today I'll be showing you another way to save money and to help keep away the cold and flu during this season by showing you how to make your own homemade elderberry syrup. I make this every year for my family and it has helped us greatly so far. So I thought I'd share that with you. So the first step, you will need to get yourself some dried elderberries. Um, we were able to pick some from our back garden. Um, these trees were already here when we moved in. So that was a great bonus for us. Um, so yeah, just get yourself some elderberries from Amazon or eBay or wherever you can get it from your health food store maybe. And then you'll be ready to make some immune boosting syrup. The whole process is super easy and can be done while doing other household chores. For this video, we picked ours fresh and then we dried it. Although I heard afterwards that you can make elderberry syrup with fresh elderberries, but I haven't tried that myself. So I'm just gonna show you with the dried elderberries. Here you see, of course, that you need the dried elderberries and also a sift like this one. Um, I've also decided to use a funnel for demonstration purposes so that it will have a cleaner pouring into the jar. You're going to need a pot, um, a medium sized pot is what I have. You'll also need some ground cinnamon, some ginger, I used organic ground ginger but you can use a fresh one. You'll need some measuring utensils. Okay, let's get into it. So for this recipe, you need to start by simmering some dried elderberries with water and spices for about 45 minutes. That's when you can be doing other things during that 45 minutes. So you don't, no need to hover over the pot here. So once you've put your elderberries, your water, your cinnamon um, and ginger to a boil, you can then go on to reduce the heat, cover and simmer until the liquid has reduced by half for about 40 to 45 minutes. this is done, allow the liquid to cool and then drain the liquid using a fine mesh strainer or if you don't have one use a cheesecloth. You're going to press out all the liquid out of the berries using the back of a wooden spoon. Once the liquid is all pressed out of the berries using the back of the wooden spoon, 
you're now going to transfer the liquid into an airtight container and after this is all completed you're then going to want to add your honey or your sweetener of choice I've chosen honey because Once your honey or agave is added to the container, mix in well and store into the refrigerator for up to two months. <coughs> honey is not advised to give to a child under the age of one year old um, as honey occasionally has a bacteria that can produce toxins in the baby's intestines leading to infant botulism which is a very serious illness so i just thought i'd add that disclaimer to this video you can use agave instead or a different sweetener but not honey thank you so much for watching my video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video let me know in the comments down below if you thought this video was helpful and if you're going to try it out and let me know how it works for you this flu season until next time god bless